One Piece. Chapter 1089 dropped and I can confirm it's no hand-to-hand -hand combat, no boxing in this chapter. But Oda is Oda, so you know it's fire anyways. We kick it off with this raw-ass cover page of Nami being served by a cow. But before we start the video, friends, I request you please subscribe my YouTube channel, thanks. So the chapter kicks off with my boy Luffy hometown, Fusha Village in the East Blue, and we see Makino and the mayor talking about what happened to Garp on Empire Island, how he's missing the action, and it doesn't confirm that he's dead. And Miss Makino's son is laughing at Luffy's photo in the newspaper. Makino talks with her son. Makino, you really like big brother Luffy, didn't you? This child has recently become familiar with Luffy's face. We also see my girl Dayton, the one who raised Luffy, Sabo, and Ace. She's crying, talking about Garp and Luffy. What the hell are you doing as she's reading the newspaper article? That's when we cut to the East Blue, and it's this big earthquake going on. We cut to the South Blue, and it's a damn tsunami going on. And we get the news that it's an earthquake, but not just any earthquake. No earthquake in recorded history matched the one felt that day. And that this earthquake caused untold destruction across the entire world. We see the West Blue in shambles, the North Blue is also shit going down on the Grand Line. And my boy Laboon going crazy. What the hell is going on? He's screaming. We cut the Water 7 and see the mayor. We cut the Marine HQ and see Hina. We even go to Wano and see it's going crazy with my boy Momonosuke. But since no one could determine the epicenter of the earthquake, the significance of this geological event went unnoticed in true world government fashion, because you know nothing gets out to the people nowadays. And all prisoner are in Impale Down going crazy. Free all prisoner out of Impale Down, by the way. But yeah, unbeknownst to the people, a kingdom known as Lulusha was erased from the map only six days prior. We see the man behind the Lulusia attack, the king of the world. Emu, and Emu was getting a call from a ship that he sent out to the spot of Lulusia. One of his men called him up. We've reached the spot where the kingdom was. There's no trace of it left. Just a massive hole. It's like a circular waterfall in the middle of the sea. We can't sail any closer, but it doesn't look like the whole world collapsed on itself, and the ensuring earthquakes caused the global sea level to rise by approximately one meter. Goddamn Vagal Punk. Why did you create this damn weapon? My boy, I thought you was a good guy. And many of the world's shores were lost beneath the sea. So we lost many shores. We see Ivankov saying, our aim to run eight the beach is gone. We see some islands were completely submerged. The entire islands flooded. And someone saying, there's is a shark in my house. And reports the flood situation from various regions. We cut the new world, Egghead, the island of the future. A massive force has surrounded the island possessing more than enough firepower to put a buster call. The fleet is comprised of over 100 ships of various size and class. There are 20 great warships among them, and a total of 30,000 marines. All this for a who laughed when he fight, and a dude with a big head. One of Vagapunk's mega monsters try to attack on into the ships, but he gets one tap by Kizaru Laserbeam. He just one taps this big monster like, just a nothing for Kizaru. And then Sentomaru comes with Kizaru like, Hey, uncle, didn't I just tell you not to touch one of them CBs and Kazaru like they started? But we find out this operation is being spearheaded by nine Navy HQ admirals. And of course, Admiral Kazaru himself. Kazaru like, yes, Sentamaru, just bring your ass out of here. I just want to go home. You was wasting my time. And we find out that Vegapunk based the Pacificia lasers off research that he did with Kizaru's powers. And Sentamaru said, I never thought that it would you who will come to get rid of old man punk. Kazar was like, I can't cover for you if you do research about the Void Century. I'm just a corporate slave, you see. We see some fat-ass grandpa eating a breadstick with a damn fork. One of the five Elder Planets warrior, God of Defense Science, J. Garcia Saturn. His fat ass is eating, reading the newspaper. The straw hat pirate Storm Egghead had to take Vega Punk hostage. Oh, this is a good article. One of his knights like, yeah, it's one of the Morgans. Then instantly my boy Garcia like, yeah, that was the CNN version. Now, what's the real news? Doberman. Yes, sir, because there's no mission conclusion report from CP0, and the fact that Sentamaru is still on guard, and all the Seraphim is up there protecting them. They've joined forces with Straw Hat and his crew, and CP0 been taken out. And there were a 100 of CP0 agents captured by Pacifista Mark III units being led by Sentamaru, and Saturn found out that all the researchers and workers of Egghead, they all evacuated yesterday. And you know St. Garcia asked immediately, and then they tell him that Jewelry Bonnie is on the island. But yeah, St. Garcia like, 
We have no use for her anymore, ignore her. She's nothing but a little girl. So Saint Garcia actually has some of a heart, even though he's a demon devil, five elder oppressive slavery mastered evil person. So yeah, that's cool to know. Then York calls the other elders back in the room of authority. York, why the hell are you all trying to kill me too? Tell you all about the Stella's betrayal. York wanted to be a celestial dragon, but they don't really give a hack about the betrayal. So yeah, they just gonna kill her along with everybody else. But then they get the idea, are you capable of create the mother flame alone? And she's like, yeah, I could recreate, but promise me that no harm will come to me into the laboratory. And they're like, very well. She wanted to be a celestial dragon. And then she's like, yeah, you got a deal. But there's one thing I need you to do for me first. Save me from Straw Hat Luffy. He is here and he's going to kill me. All the five elders with Kizaru and Saint Garcia, they was listening on the black transponder style. So they heard this conversation too. They're like, please crush these psychos. And we see the whole Straw Hat crew with them, CP0 and Rob Lucci, chilling in the background. Jewelry Bonnie doing what Jewelry Bonnie does, stuff her mouth, Luffy eating this big chicken wing, and Zoro got this damn sword to York's neck. So yeah, the grand conspiracy has been foiled, and the crew is all together. What the hell happened to the Seraphim? Did they pack him up? We don't know. And it's a break next week. That's all today. So comment down your opinion below. Like the video if you did, and subscribe for more. Hit the notification bell icon for updates. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.